Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Profound Cloud. Hi everyone, this is Michael from Profound Cloud. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Keep, Google's cloud-based note-taking tool that's included in the Google Apps Suite. Google Keep debuted rather quietly back in March of 2013, and I find that most Google Apps users don't even know it exists yet, which makes sense because it's pretty well hidden away. To get started using Keep, open up your web browser and go to drive.google.com slash keep. So this is the basic Google Keep interface, and what you're going to see is that there's different types of notes that you're allowed to take in Google Keep. So this first example is a simple text note. Here's the Guru logo, that's an image note. And then you can also take what's called checklists. So for example, if I'm creating a note, let's say a grocery list, and I press this button here for new list, I can then type a to-do list or a checklist or whatever it might be. And then of course you can check them off and the items stay there. That's actually my favorite kind of list because although I use Evernote a lot for note taking, the checklist functionality in Evernote is a little bit clunky to use. And I really like the speed and simplicity of checklists in Google Keep. So that might be one reason why you might want to use this over something like Evernote. Although I don't think it's going to replace it entirely if you're a hardcore Evernote user. Another great thing about Google Keep is that, as with everything else with Google Apps Suite, all of these notes are synchronized in real time very quickly to your mobile device. Uh, so that's another great thing that I really love about it. And then you can also color code these notes. So you'll see another button down here. If I want, I can make this note uh, orange or green. So you can come up with your own coding system to help you identify. Now, I think the coding system, the color coding system, the way it's in the web interface is kind of weak because you only see that color bar at the top. So here's a yellow note. However, on the mobile device, uh, the entire note is colored. And I think it's much more effective from the mobile perspective. So this is definitely a very early stage tool, but I think they're going to keep refining it. One feature that they added recently that's very helpful is location-based reminders. So another button you'll see here is Remind Me. So if I click that reminder, I can either have uh, Google Keep remind me of this note at a particular date and time, or when I'm located in a particular place. So let's say next time I pass Whole Foods in Union Square, I'd like it to remind me that I need to get these groceries. And this feature actually works really well. Uh, it may be my favorite feature of the whole uh, Google Keep application so far. So there you go, a quick intro to Google Keep. Uh, try it out. Again, I think it's a very early stage product. I'm really excited to see what Google is going to do with it. Uh, but check and see how you might use it in your own life. Thank you.